everyone welcome to another episode of watch casual gaming and in this video I'll share to you where is the best spot for you to gather pork if you have a plan to hoard a lot of pork for your cooking and for anything that you will be needing them so I suggest uh, this place is the best spot for you um, this place is actually in the Mansha forest so it is just about uh, the west uh, southwest of Calfion so you can just um, point your uh, into this location just right click on it so that you'll be uh, guided with the auto path alright so this level this area is about level 49 to 51 so uh, just be uh, just make sure that you have the right level and at least you know the uh, the right gear to defend yourself so this place is good. It's because it is saturated with yellow, uh, with a sorry, sorry, with a young uh, red boar. So as you can see, there's a lot of boar right here. So normally, in about in in 180 energy, I get about um, 600 to 700 uh, pork meat in this location. So before you go there or you go here in this location, make sure you have uh, enough um, butcher knife. All right, so depends on how much energy you got so you can actually see right here what's the durability for this one it's 130 dur uh, durability which requires a gatherer or gathering beginner level 10 okay if you are not yet uh, a gathering beginner 10 so I suggest you can just get uh, the one from the marketplace uh, under life tools uh, butchering knife this uh, sharp uh, butcher knife which is uh, only 60 durability but does not require for you to have a certain level of uh, gathering so uh, also to help you with your gathering uh, gathering speed I would suggest for you to buy uh, Baleno's, uh, Baleno's meal alright this would give you two movement speed and two uh, gathering speed uh, for 90 minutes and it will cool down for 30 minutes Right, the reason why I also like this place is because uh, this place is also where you can find the augers. Uh, there are about um, five or six augers in the area, and the augers will spawn every twelve between twelve to thirteen minutes. So I suggest every time they spawn, put a timer, and then uh, after you kill the the first one, then set your timer to twelve minutes. Then kill the rest of them I'll show you the route and how you can kill all of them alright so for the route of the augers uh, when you are in front of this cabin right here for the node NPC and when you go to the uh, area where you can find the young red board uh, the first location is just right here in this excavation site alright And the second one is the left side. There's another excavation site. The third one is you have to go down uh, from this location right here. You actually have to go clockwise or going from here to, to, to right over here in this area. All right. So again, as I mentioned, most um, the location where you can find these augers are mostly in this excavation site. So you just have to look around. All right. Just make sure you anchor yourself into the node NPC, just like right here. I got, I'm about 130 meters away, so don't go beyond 300. So just uh, stay within that uh, radius, or else um, you are too far away from the location where the auger is. Right, and the next one is right here. 
So if you notice, I'm already at the right side of the NPC node NPC by looking at my the arrow pointing to that node NPC. So there's another excavation right here. There. So just uh, go right here near this um, node manager and okay there you are and the last spot is just right over here in this location about 300 meters away um, okay I think okay there you go Alright, and this is the last area where you can find the auger. Alright, so that's the location of the auger. So once you're done killing all the augers in the area, you can just go back to your spot where you can gather again um, the pork meat. So just go back there so that once your timer sets off, the 12 between 12 to 13 minutes then you can just uh, make another run again or another round of killing those augers so gathering in this location will not only give you the advantage of killing the augers but you also get other loots that are expensive just like the ancient spirit dust which you can use to create or combine to create a kafra stone uh, for upgrades also, I find it from this location you can also get a blackstone armor or blackstone weapon that you could use as well for upgrade. Uh, not only that, I'm also able to uh, get the hard uh, black crystal shards uh, in this location. And also if there's a hard black crystal shards, uh, you also get a chance to get the sharp black crystal shards as well. Um, aside from that, um, I also uh, got uh, other items just like a deep blue hoof root uh, which if you're not gonna use it you can sell it for about half a, half a million um, to the marketplace and also while you're gathering right here please do not ignore uh, some of the uh, special monster which will give you the prognil um, silver bar which you can uh, exchange from the storage NPC to become a silver all right so i think that's it for this video and again guys thanks a lot for watching if you like my video please do click the like button and please do not forget to subscribe uh, for some more content from my channel so again thank you and have a nice day thanks for watching watch casual gaming bye bye